I hope you are ready for a core blast. We're gonna work uh, the legs, we're gonna work the hip flexors, the hamstrings, quads, core, all of it. We're gonna get it all in today. So if you are ready to begin, let's go ahead and lay on our side. Now I want you to lay all the way down in a nice straight line down the body. So I have these life form mats which have a nice line down the middle, but if you don't, just try and look down and see if you're in a nice straight line all the way down. Now you can rest your head on your arm there, place that left hand right in front, and then I want you to bend your bottom right knee, all right, so that you have a little bit more support. Flex that top foot and turn your toes down. So we're gonna lead with the heel. We're gonna lift it up and then lower back down, all right? So we're gonna go 10, drop, nine, drop, eight, seven, six. You're gonna keep your hips nice and square, ribs and core pulling in. Three, two, hold it at the top, right here. So we're gonna keep our hips stacked on top of each other. You're gonna drag that foot in as it's flexed and then point and bring it back without moving your hips all around, all right? So we're gonna go 10, point it, bring it back. Nine, try to keep your abs pulling in. Don't let your torso uh, roll over to one side. So we're keeping it nice and stable. Six, I think I've lost count already. You guys keep me on track. Five, four, remember to breathe, three, two, one, take it back. Now, I want you to pull that knee in, flex, and like you're gonna kick somebody, you're gonna press through that heel. We're gonna go 10, nine, eight, Seven, the heel leads the movement. Six, five, it should be burning. Four, abs pulling in. Three, two, one, hold it there. Take that bottom leg out, straighten it, and give me a soccer ball size circle. Roll it, 10, nine, flex both feet. Eight, seven, six, this burns. Three, two, oh, one. Release it. Ah, rub it out just a little bit. Might burn a little bit there. Roll over onto your tummy. Now, we'll get to the other side in a minute. Forehead down. Roll the shoulders up towards your ear and then push them down towards your glutes. Elbows in. Lift the head if you can. You can always keep it down on the ground. Lift both feet off. Hold here. Breathe. See how you feel. If it's too intense, you can be here. Hold. Lift the hands. Point the toes. And then send it through. So send those arms through, squeezing your triceps. Bring it back. Exhale everything down to the ground. All right, we're going to repeat that. So we're going to lift the head, the feet, the hands. Send it through, then bring it back, lower everything down. All right, again, head, feet, hands, push through. Release it, everything down. Again, head, feet, hands, and you can stop anywhere along the way if it becomes too intense, release. Again, head, feet, hands, push. Squeeze those triceps, bring it back, release down. One more, head, feet, hands, push, squeeze, bring it back in, release. Good, child's pose. Push back, feel that in your back, stretch it out. Nice job. You can take your left hand over to the right corner of the mat. Kind of tip your hips over towards the left. And then switch. Nice. All right, other side. Okay, guys, this is a quick workout, so we're going to work hard. Line yourself up in a nice straight line. 
Lay the head down. You can always be here too, all right? Bend that bottom leg, flex. Here we go, 10 lifts. 10, drop. Nine, eight, seven. Toes are down. Six, abs are pulling in. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, pull it forward. Oh, hamstrings. Point, bring it back. 10. Pull it forward. Bring it back. Eight. How we doing? Woo. Five. Abs in. Four. Only let the leg move. Three. Point. Two. One. Bring it here. Now, pull it in, flex that foot, kick. 10, kick. Nine, pull in with your core with that knee. Eight, seven, six, five is a burning. Four, three, two, straighten the bottom leg. Here we go. Flex both feet, soccer ball side circle, lead with the heel, 10. These are the hardest. Nine, eight, in case you're wondering, this is burning me too. Six, five, four, abs pulling in, don't let those hips move. Three, two, one, roll over. Oh, those hurt, okay. Here we go, we're gonna go back to that movement. We lift the head, lift the feet, lift, Extend through, squeeze triceps, bring it back in. Exhale everything down. Four more. Lift head, feet, hands, send it through. In, down, three more. Head, feet, hands, send it through. Bring it in and down, two more. Head, feet, hands, Bring it in. Draw your belly button up as you do this, all right? Lift the head. Whoops, yeah, feet. Getting confused here. Hands, send it through. Bring it in. Exhale and down. Push back. Stretch it out. Stretch opposite corner of the mat. And a nice stretch. Lean your hips over. Other side. Nice job. All right, come forward. Hands and knees, so hands underneath the shoulders, knees right underneath the hips. I want you to flex your right foot and then lift the knee off the ground. And I want you to draw in your belly, okay? So try not to arch your back. Really suck in your belly, nice neutral back, all right? And then you're gonna pulse it 10 with the heel. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it, squeeze, draw the belly in, breathe. Now point the toe, extend the leg out straight, still drawing your core in, take the opposite arm. If this is too intense, you can always have the fingertips down, hold it here. Then take the arm out to 90 degrees and the leg out to 45. Hold, breathe, feel that in your sides, in your obliques, love handles, try to stay steady. Pull it both back in, release. Other side. Flex left foot, take it off, draw in your core, so no arching and dumping in the back. Draw it in, pulse it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Point, extend, draw the core in, opposite arm reaches. Nice and stable. Take that arm out to 90 and the leg out to 45. I didn't want to hit my shelf there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Core drawing in, back to center. Release down, child's pose. Little break. Nice job, guys. All right, I want you to hop through and lay on your back. So just a little hop, lay on back. 
I want you to cross the ankles, lift them up. So squeeze your inner thighs together and then reach up. We're gonna pulse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hands go behind the head. Okay, you can be here for support or here wherever you're comfortable. Bend both knees. Bring the right over your hips, hold it here. Open up the elbows. Good, hold it. Breathe. Now squeeze everything in. Tap those knees to your elbows and then pull it back out. So we want those knees right over the hips and the feet in alignment with the knees, opening up those elbows. Squeeze it in. Good. Exhale in there. Open. Beautiful. Hold. Squeeze it in. Really press those knees into your elbows, heels into your glutes, pointed toes. Open. How are you doing? Pull it in, squeeze. Squeeze knees into elbows, push. If it's too much on your head, you know, just be here. That's fine too. Open. Ooh. Pull it in, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Knees pressing into those elbows, open. Breathe, shoulder blades are off the ground. Pull it in, squeeze. You got it. One more, guys, open. And squeeze. Nice. Heels down, head down, lift up. Nice stretch. Pressing those hips nice and high. You can even grab onto those hip bones if you have the flexibility. Nice job. Slowly come on down. Knees back into the chest, big hug. Almost there. We're gonna stretch out the legs and do a little core work. So we're gonna take that right foot, flex it. You can keep the left leg bent if that's better for your back, but try to extend, flex both feet. And just using your hip flexors, we're gonna come in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, grounding your low back to the ground. Three, two, one, lift up your head. Now, if your hamstrings are tight, all right, you're just gonna go as far as you can, all right? I want you to lift up your head, hold it here, pulse it 10, nine, eight, seven, flex the foot, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here, really pull that knee into your nose, lift up higher, three, two, one, release. Whew. All right, other side, flex. All right, ground your low back into the ground, my tighter side. We're gonna go 10, nine, anchoring those hip bones, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Now lift up, pulse it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, squeeze, and release. Back to your bridge. Lift up. Roll back over onto your tummy. We're gonna stretch. So come into Sphinx Pose, elbows underneath those shoulders. If this doesn't feel good on your back, you can always come into a baby cobra. Um, but if you can, come here so that we get a nice stretch through that abdominal wall. All right, if this doesn't feel like a good enough stretch for you and you have more flexibility, you can come up to a full cobra here. And then go ahead and release back down. Bend your uh, left leg and see if you can pull in your heel to your glute. Um, you can always grab a strap on this. If you can't reach back and grab the foot, don't worry about it. But if you can, um, what you can do is just kind of hold on to that foot and then give me a posterior tilt of the tailbone, meaning tuck your tailbone under like a dog tucking its tail between its legs, just to stretch out the front of that quad. Release other side and again if you can't grab the foot don't worry about it tuck the tailbone nice stretch to the front and then roll back on over and we'll just do the hips really quickly 
Give me a figure four, so cross that right foot over that left knee. Reach one hand through the center. Either grab onto the shin or the back of the thigh. And then press your knee away. And then just because I love to add core into everything I do, you can let go and just use your hip flexor muscles of this left leg to pull the knee into the chest. If you're done with core, you can always just hold here. But I always feel like, why not? We're here, really pull it in as you push the right knee away, stretching out that outer hip flexor. And switch, other side, pull it in. Again, you can reach through if you want to so just passively stretch or actively stretch. We're gonna pull that right knee into the chest as we push the left knee away. Good, now release it, let's go ahead and sit on up. Take a nice big stretch, we'll get those obliques in here now. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale over to the left side, right hand to that left knee, twist. Oh, I felt a little pop there. Inhale, exhale, other side. Great. That was your quick core workout for today. Hope you guys liked it. Leave me a comment and a review. Remember, you can do this class twice, okay? I know it's hard to hit the play and do it all again, but if it's not enough for you, you can do it twice. These uh, core workouts are designed to be really tough, really quick um, to add on to maybe a yoga practice. So you can do them before your practice, you can do them after your practice, or you can do um, a few of the core workouts in succession. So I hope you guys liked it. Have an awesome day.